Hello, Abby. My name's Amy. Please, may I examine you? Yes. Stand behind the patient for the whispered voice test. I'm going to whisper in your ear. Please, can you repeat after me what I say? Mask hearing in the contralateral ear by rubbing its tragus. Use a variety of numbers and letters and perform the test in a quiet room. I'm going to do the same in your left ear. Start at about 15 centimetres. Hearing a whisper at 60 centimetres approximates to unimpaired hearing. Hearing loss should be formally measured with audiometry. Use a tuning fork to help differentiate conductive from sensory neural hearing loss. First, Rennie's test. Can you hear this? Yes. Tell me when you hear it stop. The base of the vibrating tuning fork is gently pressed against the mastoid process. Now. Can you still hear it? Yes. This has demonstrated that air conduction is better than bone conduction, which is normal. Air conduction relies on the function of the outer and middle ears. Again, can you hear this? Yes. Tell me when you hear it stop. If sound transmission through bone is now. greater than that through air, then the test is said to be negative. This indicates conductive deafness. For Weber's test, you place the fork in the midline. Does this sound louder in either ear? No. Normally, the sound is described in the middle, heard equally in both ears. Interpretation of both tuning fork tests is more subtle than it initially appears. The Dix Hallpipe Maneuver can elicit positional vertigo due to vestibular disease. This requires a vigorous maneuver, so is not suitable for all patients. When the patient lies back, their head should overhang the edge. I'm going to lie you down rapidly and turn your head to the side. Please could you look straight into my eyes. The patient's head should extend 30 degrees beyond horizontal and rotate 45 degrees to one side. Do you feel dizzy or sick? No. Watch the eyes carefully for nystagmus. It may take 20 seconds for this or symptoms to occur. The pattern of response can differentiate between a lesion in the inner ear or central nervous system. Repeat the test, turning the head to the other side. Thank you.